What is good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. And in this video I'm gonna be going over my uh dribble moves, playmaking badges, and like all the tips and tricks to make you a better dribbler, ball handler, playmaker, whatever in NBA 2K22. And this is kind of a part two to my last video where I went over my jump shot and shooting, but this is more playmaking instead. And make sure um that when I go over my badges, because I'm gonna be using all 24 of my badges and make sure you have all 24 and to get all 24 you have to go watch my build video to make that build to get all 25 pl uh, shooting 24 playmaking um but yeah make sure you like subscribe uh, turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload and who wants a dribble tutorial because i was thinking about making one i don't know if y'all want one make sure to comment whatever you know what i'm saying follow the socials in the description like always and yeah let's get into the video Okay, we are here in the park. And the first thing I want to go over is boost, like last time. Um, boost isn't a must need, but again, it does help. I like boost. You can do ball handling boost, you know what I'm saying, to help you uh, with your ball handling. It also gives you passing, so, you know. Again, don't use this if you're broke on VC. You know, if you have like 4K plus, maybe, you could buy boost because you could also get a uh, shooting boost, which is also 1500 a pack. But you say, I, I have around 6k, so I can afford it. I'm saying I get those uh, playmaking slash ball handling boost. And so the next thing, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna get out my skateboard. And then we're gonna go over to the Gatorade training facility. And I'm gonna go over the weekly workout and the boost you can buy there. Again, the boosts that I'm going to show you uh, do cost a little bit more, so only do this if like you're set on VC. But yeah, so we are here. If I could get in the door, uh, we're in the Gatorade facility, and if you click Y, you see a weekly workout, and I haven't done it. So after this, after I finish recording this, I'm gonna go do my daily workout because it definitely does help because it gives you three speed, acceleration. Uh, stamina, strength, vertical, which is all super important, especially speed, acceleration, and stamina. It's huge, especially when you're dribbling. Then we're going to go over here next to the elevator on the back to go to the fuel station. And you can see these, they are a lot more expensive. Because um, if you were to buy all three, I don't even have enough, it's 10k. But at least buy, if you have enough VC again, remember that uh, you do need to have a little bit of VC to buy these because if like you're broke on VC you know what I'm saying you don't need these because these are on must need um but at least get the green ones they're 3,500 for a 10 pack you know what I'm saying uh but yeah you make sure you do the weekly workout which is like you go over here you know click on a drill or whatever and then depending on what kind of drill you get will give you a boost and how good you um how good you do and each drill depends on how big of a boost you get uh, but that's it for the Gatorade training facility. On to the next part. Okay, we are here on the my court. And like last video, if you did see that last video, which you should link in the description as always. Um, we are here on the my court. And before I get into my drill moves, uh, you want to this is just kind of a way to practice. So once you go into your my court, you want to click A to start game and X to invite and just invite another one. I don't know, just do Kendrick Nunn. Then you go into personal workout. This is a, I think the best drill you could do to get better as a guard, not only for dribbling, but shooting. And once it loads in after a minute, uh, you could see it'll kind of put you in a one-on-one -on -one full court situation as here we are. And you kind of practice any drill moves you want. Um, and then yeah, you can dribble around. I'm just throwing that up. Uh, but you could also practice shooting, get used to your jump shot, or if you use my jump shot, link in the description again uh you can use that as well to kind of get the feel of it uh but yeah i'm just throwing stuff up uh but yeah let's get into my sigs go to my animations give it a minute to load and once it loads here now uh these are my sigs uh dribble style carrier ring I don't really know how much this matters, um, but I just like Harry Irving. 
uh, you can see that one's power real quick. I think it also kind of determines how fast you speed boost. Big size up Kemba Walker. I really recommend Kemba Walker because if you put all my drone moves together, it is really good. Signature so combos. Trey Young. You can kind of see like a preview of it here. You know, of like all the dribble moves or whatever. But Trey Young signature combos. Size up escape packages. Trey Young. Um, two back to back Trey Youngs, and you can see all the little hesitation size up things, this package, whatever, on the side. And moving crossover is Steph Curry. Uh, I think some people, uh, you know, use other ones, like I had Chris Paul, uh, but uh, I now use Steph Curry. And you can notice that, like, in 2K21, it was all, like, number drill moves, like, per 1, 2, 3, 4, per whatever. But now I can see that all my drill moves are players. Uh, but for moving behind the back, I got Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard actually gives you the explosive behind the back uh, from 2K21. A lot of uh, behind the backs do, but I think this is also like the fastest, and it gives you like other good behind the backs. And moving hesitations. Uh, a lot of people recommend Kevin Durant. I don't know. It. I don't know. I like John Wall because it gives you like the kind of that 2K21. You see he, how he does it, like the little hesitation thing. I really like John Walls. It's really good. Moving step back, Kyrie Irving. This gives you like the what, like the 